been an absolute month since I have filmed a Top 5 Wednesday video. So today I'm here to rectify that to tell you guys my top 5 favorite polarizing books. It is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a great one. As I said in the intro, it has been forever since I filmed the Top 5 Wednesday video. I used to religiously film these every single week, but then I got a little bit tired of it. And so I decided this year I might do some more, you know? Whenever I see a particular topic in the group that looks like it would be fun or ones that I actually have books for, I would go ahead and film it. And this week is one of those topics, which is your Top 5 Favorite Polarizing Books. So books that you enjoyed but that are pretty polarizing so people either love them or they hate them. So I'm like, I know a few of those books, might as well film them. So without further ado, let's see what my top five are. The first one that I have to mention for you guys is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This book I have gathered is pretty polarizing. Even hardcore fans of Neil Gaiman hate this book and some people who aren't the biggest fans of Neil Gaiman love this book. So it's a pretty wide spectrum. People literally either love it or they hate it. I myself, I really enjoyed it. I read it in about October for my book club at work and I thought it was a really interesting story. It features our main character, Shadow, who is kind of being in the middle of a tug of war between the old gods and the new gods. The old gods would be all of the old gods brought over from other countries and cultures to America, such as Odin, etc. And then the new gods would be all of the things that people worship now. So your television, your phones, the mall, the internet, the highway. And these two sets of gods are warring against each other for supremacy over America. And Shadow's kind of caught in the middle of it. I thought the story was pretty interesting. I really liked Neil Gaiman's perspective of the US from an outsider's perspective. Him, He himself is from England, so he actually a road trip and so a lot of the places on his road trip are featured in the novel and he was kind of trying to show what America looks to an outsider almost and I thought it was really interesting I really liked the different cultural elements he tied into the book itself and I just really enjoyed it so this is definitely one of my favorite polarizing books I also decided on this list to not necessarily always focus on my favorite book so I'm actually going to include one that is a polarizing book or play, I should say, that I myself did not much care for. And that is A Cursed Child, which is written by Jack Thorne. And it is, of course, based upon the Harry Potter series. It's supposed to be set after the events of Hogwarts and follows Harry, Ron, Hermione's children. I did not like the script at all. I recognize that I have a full review of it, which I will leave down below, which clearly is a very polarizing review because I've gotten some very interesting comments on it, which I was expecting. The story itself, I was just not a fan of. Like the writing, you can't, you have to kind of take with a grain of salt, I think, while you're reading it because it is a play and it's meant to be acted, not read. So I was a little bit more lenient with the writing, but the characters themselves, and the way that they were acting just did not feel consistent with how they acted in the Harry Potter series. That was probably one of my biggest complaints. There, was def there were several little plot holes in the story that I didn't like. Like Polyjuice Potion can apparently now be brewed really, really quick instead of it being a month. Just various inconsistencies from the original story. So this is a polarizing book that people seem to love or hate that I myself did not much care for. Next one that I want to mention is the Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien, which might be a surprise, but I've actually encountered a lot of people who hate this trilogy. And from what I've been encounter people either love it or they really really do not like it at all and think it's boring. I always found it pretty interesting that this series is so this book is actually so polarizing and it's especially funny because Tolkien actually set down a lot of foundation for modern fantasy and the way that stories are told. I personally have always loved The Lord of the Rings as many of you guys know if you follow my channel for any length of time. It's one of my favorite series since I was 11 so it's I've been obsessed with it for the past like 18 years so that'll never end. I absolutely love the series but I can definitely see why people will not don't like it very much. It is pretty slow moving and slow paced which I always enjoy in my books. I kind of like books that are slow moving and they lead up to this epic fast conclusion. That's just kind of the type of books that I like to read and enjoy. But so I can definitely see how people don't like this story, but I've always found it interesting that it's so polarizing. For number four, I'm actually going to talk about Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is one of my favorite classic books, though last year, Tenet of Wildville Hall kind of sneaked past Jane Eyre, my list of favorite classics. But I found a lot of people either love Jane Eyre or they don't like it at all. People either like Charlotte Bronte's writing or they just find that it's not for them. I personally really like the story of Jane Eyre. I read it in college and I was obsessed with it. I absolutely love the story. It was probably one of the first classics that I was like super 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 invested in. But I really enjoyed the story but again this is a book that people either seem to like or not. And the last book isn't necessarily a book it's actually an author and that is in fact Charles Dickens. I have found that people love Charles Dickens. I myself love him though some of his books do fall a little bit flat for me and then people hate him which I get because Dickens is very verbose and he takes a long time to get to the point 
very wordy, very slow about telling his story, which it makes sense. His books were originally published as serials, so you would have gotten like a story a week, a story a month, and you would have gotten it in small doses. You wouldn't have just sat down and read, you know, a thousand page book. I personally really like him, but I can definitely see how people would have a hard time getting into him. He's definitely an author that you love or you hate. And so I can see why it's polarizing. I myself enjoy him, but he's definitely, just the very nature of his writing and the very nature of his stories, I think, make him very polarizing. All right, guys, that is it for my top five list of polarizing books. I'd be interested to know what one of your favorite books is or least favorite books are that is pretty polarizing. People either seem to love it or hate it. I'm always curious to know that. You guys will have to let me know down below or whatever else you want to throw down in the comments. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.